All right, it's Daniel Murphy. And we're looking at an ash tree here. And yes, this ash tree has been treated for the emerald ash borer on a pretty regular basis. Every two, I think one year was three years. But if you just look at the, there's, there's the upper canopy, right? And that's the top of the tree. And then all of this lower canopy here is pretty, pretty hefty. I mean, it's, there's a lot of leaves on that and it's making a lot of energy for the tree, right? And those were all water sprouts that popped out when some, I think it was a big oak over here or something that uh, was taking up all the light and might have been on something on the other side too. When all those other two, two trees went, all of a sudden, all the sun started beating down on the top of this, uh, on the trunk of this ash and it popped out all these water sprouts. So, so many guys in the tree business be like, oh, water sprouts, we got to cut them off. Epicormic shoots, whatever you want to call them. Let's cut them all off. Make the tree look better. Well, look what happened here. We thinned a few of them out, and we probably should come back in here and do it again because there's some kind of funny-looking branch structures the, the branching is there. But we, we preserved them and talked the customer into preserving them, and they've got to prune a little bit to get it off the, off the roof here, but, but not just to go in there and whack all of them. And, and sure enough, this tree is going to be so much better off for having this much green material out there making sugar for it. It's keeping it strong, keeping it healthy. And then of course with the emerald ash borer, I see just a few little dead branches up there, which concerns me. We better get this tree treated again. But um, with the emerald ash borer, you know, you have to treat them as well. So the customer's willing to do that. I wouldn't even bother pruning an ash tree at this point that the customer wasn't willing to, to have treated for the borers every couple of years. So that's the lesson. The lesson is not every water sprout, not every sucker, is a sucker it's not not everyone is is a is a bad thing it's like they have value the tree put it out there because the tree has its own intelligence and the reason they they all the lower growth died on this tree and was shed many many years ago is because it wasn't getting any sun because there was a thick canopy of up there somewhere that's now gone and that tree you know these branches not only they're making sugar for the tree but they're keeping that trunk from getting beat down all in a there's western sky over there you know and late summer days and wet, that western sun come beating down on this trunk and, and in the hot days really overheat the thing so lesson of the day prune them thin them don't just remove them all right